Number 20, Juan, find the volume of the empty space in a cylindrical tube of three balls. The diameter of each ball is three inch. The cylinder is three inch in diameter and is 7.5 inch tall. So let's draw a picture of this, which maybe it will help us out. So let's draw the cylinder foist. The cylinders are very fun to draw sometimes. It's not to scale, but that'll do. It's very nice. And, uh, hmm, the, find the empty space. Let's draw the balls onto these. All right, so we have three of these balls, but we only really need to look at one of them to see if when we put it in, how much empty space there will be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, what the heck? What? Now, by the way, this is not a trick question because the technically the... Cylinder isn't tall enough to fit all yeah. three balls. We're not looking for any tricks on this. I mean, if you figured that out, that'd be fine. It would still be acceptable. Uh, so thanks, Sophie, for that. But no, you don't have to worry about it not fitting in there. We just got to look and see if we put the balls in. Let's say that we melted the balls somehow with extreme heat and turned it into a liquid. And then we filled the cylinder. That's kind of what we're looking at in this situation. Does that make sense? Yeah, even if you melted it down, they still would have fit. I mean, you, what if they were like, uh, what if they were made out of iron? All right, so the only reason we could figure this out, even though it is not tall enough, which, again, we're not really trying to trick you guys, but you could look at it that way. We can look at this both ways. So let's just look at the diameter of the ball, which is three inch, right here. Same as the cylinder, so the radius is just half of that. It would be 1.5 inches in radius. So if we wanted the volume of the ball, which is a sphere, we can assume safely, hopefully, then we got uh, four pi r cubed over three. Well, we already know the radius is 1.5, very good. So the volume of one ball, that would be the volume of one ball. If we wanted three of these balls, then we just multiply that by three, and we get 42. Let me just say 41 inches cubed. Now let's look at the volume of the cylinder, which has a diameter of three inch, and the height is uh, 7.5 inches. Like this, right here. So the volume of the cylinder is pi times the radius squared, which is still 1.5 <laughs> squared, times the height, 7.5. So the volume of the cylinder is 53.01 in inches cubed. So the ball volume, all three of them, and the volume of the cylinder is different and there is less volume with the balls so we're just going to take 53.01 and subtract 42.41 and that would tell us how much empty space if we were to melt the balls and then put the liquid in there then that's what it would be all right and what the heck is that that would be 10.6 inches cubed now Let's say that you noticed <clears throat> that the three balls would not fit entirely into the tube. That's okay because it's going to be two and a half of the balls instead of three. In other words, you could fit one ball right here, one ball right here, and then only half of the third ball would fit in the container because there's three, three inches, three inches. That's the diameter of each ball. Another 1.5 inches is 7.5 inches. So we're just looking at 2.5 balls instead of 3. So if we did that, you do 2.5 times that 14.1372. And that volume, if you used it, would be 35.34, which when I subtract from 53.01, you'd get 17.67 cubic inches. 
Uh, again, I'm not so concerned with you guys understanding that the three balls won't fit. We're just trying to get you to understand how to compare the two volumes together right there. So either one of these answers would be good for me.